Today, we've got some exciting news for you about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 series. Yes, it's confirmed. Samsung is going all in with Qualcomm's latest powerhouse chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Elite. If you're into cutting edge mobile tech, you'll want to stick around for this one. Let's start with the Snapdragon 8 Elite itself. Qualcomm just unveiled this beast at the Snapdragon Summit 2024 in Hawaii, and the specs are mind blowing. It's a three nanometer chip, offering massive improvements in performance, gaming, photography, and artificial intelligence. This isn't just a slight upgrade. This is going to push Android devices to new heights in 2024. Mobile manufacturers are eager to get this chipset into their next-gen devices, and of course, Samsung is at the front of the line. This brings us to the Galaxy S25 series, Samsung's flagship phones that are due to launch in the first quarter of 2024. There's been a lot of speculation about what chipset Samsung would use for the Galaxy S25. Remember how this year, for the Galaxy S24, Samsung used the Exynos 2400 for the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus in most markets, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra shipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 globally, while rumors suggested Samsung might do something similar for the S25 series. Samsung's own Exynos 2500 chip was expected to debut with the Galaxy S25, but there's a catch. The 3 nanometer yields for this chip haven't been looking great which means Samsung may not be able to produce enough of them to meet global demand. This is where Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite comes into play. With a confirmed partnership between Samsung and Qualcomm, it's clear that at least one variant of the Galaxy S25 will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Some rumors even suggest that Samsung might ditch Exynos entirely this time and go full Snapdragon across the entire lineup. Now, that's not officially confirmed, but it's definitely something we're keeping an eye on. One of the coolest things about the Snapdragon 8 Elite is that it's the first Qualcomm chip to feature built-in ultra-wideband, UWB. In the past, UWB required a separate chip, which added to the cost and complexity of including it in smartphones. As a result, many base models, including Samsung's Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S24, didn't have UWB. But with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, that changes. UWB is now fully integrated into the chipset meaning manufacturers like Samsung don't have to worry about adding extra hardware or paying licensing fees to include this feature. So what does this mean for the Galaxy S25 series? Well, this could be the first time we see UWB in the base Galaxy S25 model. That's a big deal for anyone who uses devices like Galaxy Smart Tags to track items as UWB drastically improves location accuracy. Previous base models didn't have UWB, likely to save cost and make the higher end plus and ultra variants more appealing. But now, with Snapdragon 8 Elite, the base Galaxy S25 could level up significantly. However, Samsung could still decide to limit UWB to the higher-end models to create more differentiation. They could, theoretically, disable UWB in the base model via software, making it exclusive to the Galaxy S25 Plus and Galaxy S25 Ultra. We'll have to wait, Galaxy S25. This could be one of the most feature-packed Galaxy releases we've ever seen. So are you excited for the Galaxy S25 series? What do you think about the Snapdragon 8 Elite powering Samsung's next flagship phones? Let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all the latest news on the Galaxy S25 and other upcoming devices. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, 
the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 Hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.